Hi, this is Scott Ginkle with another Tuesday tidbit for you, the real estate professional. I was listening to a podcast recently, very recently, and the the message had to do with making mistakes because we all make mistakes. But it was a, a sign being acknowledged on a podcast where they said, the sign said at least, it's okay to make a mistake, but only if it's the first time you've made that mistake. And we all make mistakes. We've all screwed up. <laughs> I know I have, and you probably have too, or maybe you haven't. Um, but the, the fact is, as an, as an instructor, I know firsthand, I know what my students tell me, that they, they learn so much more from their mistakes. It's just kind of sad to think, if that's the only way you're going to learn is by your own mistakes, it's, it's not only a painful experience, but it's time-consuming and it's very expensive. And sometimes we don't even realize that we are making mistakes. You know, uh, sometimes we make a mistake because we don't know, we keep repeating it. For instance, agents, most of the time, the common mistake they make, they don't know about. But one mistake that I find a lot of agents make on a repeated basis is the absence of planning. Planning. That's having a plan, working a plan, reviewing a plan. Uh, a stu- of course, you still, even with a plan, you have to do some work. So you can't just plan and not work. You got to you gotta do and you got to plan. But doing without a plan is like driving without seatbelts. Sure, you, you're probably not going to have that accident just because you don't wear a seatbelt. But boy, you'll wish you had a seatbelt on when you do get involved in that accident or you may get a ticket. Planning is really one of the first steps that you should look at to succeed in business, especially the real estate business. And you've probably heard this said before, usually at the beginning of each year or the end of each year, a failure to plan is a plan to fail. Not what you want to do. That would be a mistake. Do this. Um, get in the habit of spending 30 minutes every week. Not once a year, not occasionally, but every week. Creating a plan analyzing your plan, tracking your plan, reviewing your accomplishments and your achievements, or reviewing the things that you think you should be doing that you haven't been doing. Do it every week. 30 minutes every week will save you a boatload of time. And don't make the mistake of doing it once and then forgetting about it. I hope that that helps. This has been a Tuesday tidbit. Hope you enjoyed the message. And more importantly, I hope the message makes a difference in your business. I'd love to know what you think. Let me know. Visit www.howtosellmorehouses.com or find me on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, wherever you can. This is Scott Kinkle. Happy learning.